Is technology at your work distracting you from actual work? Do you spend too much time troubleshooting PC or internet issues? IT Enabled can help! Our team of IT specialists can help you tackle your technology troubles and get you focused on growing your business in no time. Call to schedule your technology consultation. 936-225-3329 IT Enabled, we're here to help. Well, we are so excited to have uh, the team here from IT Enabled. Uh, to begin with, um, IT Enabled is our presenting sponsor this year for the podcast. And so, first and foremost, thank y'all so much for yes. believing in what we're doing and for joining us uh, on this. But I've got uh, Chris Smith and Mitch Foreman. Um, why don't you tell about yourself, give some background, and then we'll talk about IT Enabled and really what you do. Sure. Okay. So, um, IT, I'm Chris. Um, a long time Lufkinite, lived here my whole life. Uh, I've got three kids, wife here in Lufkin, and we're happy to be here. Nice, nice. How about and, you? And uh, I'm Mitch Foreman, and uh, like Chris, have lived here almost all my life. Uh, worked in technology about 30 years. Okay. In uh, various forms, and um, two children, both grown and out of the house. And uh, again, uh, glad you had us. Welcome nice, here. nice. So, for those that are not familiar with IT Enabled, why don't you give the background on it, how long you've been in business, uh, and kind of what you do, and then we'll dive in from there. Okay. All right. Uh, we've been in business a little over three years, and uh, we serve uh, technology customers all over the state of Texas. So, basically, we are our customers' IT department. Okay. So, if you've ever had problems with some kind of tech at your office, your computer, your phone, your internet, and you spent tons of time trying to figure out what the problem was just to find out that it was something simple that you had to reboot. Um, large companies have departments of people mm -hmm. to help yeah. them through that. And um, ultimately, we want to bring that to small and medium sized businesses. And so we've done that in this area and around Texas and basically have brought uh, those types of services where you just have a phone that you pick up and you call and somebody's on the other end to help you through that problem mm -hmm. and not waste your day on something simple. Nice. You know, I, I learned a long time ago when I was at the city, I would call the IT department and they would say, have you rebooted? And yeah. I'm like, no, <laughs> I learned a long time ago just to start with Turn that before on. I ever call to make, uh, yeah. to make somebody help me. Yeah. It's such a cool concept. Uh, I don't think people realize. So you have to be a pretty good sized company for it to make sense to have your own in-house IT department because it's insanely expensive. Yeah, it's we see a lot of that on the video and the marketing side where a lot of companies, you know, you've got to be really big to have your own in-house video team or right. photo team. Mm -hmm. So it just makes more sense to you know have somebody who's another company kind of outsource that part of your business if you're small and a medium company. So it's a really cool thing that, yep. that you guys do. Very, very, very needed in, in today's society for sure. So tell us about the technology in the workplace. How has that really changed the dynamic of, of what you do? So one of the big things that we see is most businesses, when it comes to common technology, so your voice, your internet, even your, your cost of computing, uh, they think in the mindset of the way it's been the last five or 10 years. Mm -hmm. And in that five or 10 years, the options have changed drastically. Yeah. So that's a big part of what we do is help customers understand the current options. And what we generally find is there are significant cost savings mm -hmm. that are available to them. So we're able to save them money and also bring technology that they weren't just fully aware of right. uh, and apply it towards their business and ultimately their customers. Mm -hmm. And that's sure. our passion is making a difference for their business. Yeah. What's one of the biggest things that you see uh, a benefit for, for people? Like when they go in and they're not currently using your services, what are people most wowed by and surprised by that it may be new technology or something that's more cost effective than they thought? But tell us a little about that. Yeah, yeah so um, I think one of the funniest things, not, it's funny, but. Uh, one of the funniest things is uh, QR code. So when yes. you come into a location and you need to get on the Wi-Fi and you're finding somebody, hey, what's the password? The QR code that you stick up on the, uh -huh. the desk at the front here, here join our guest Wi-Fi. That's one of the, uh, just, it's a novelty yeah. that people, it, they kind of take it for granted in the beginning, but then when they see that, it's like, oh man, that just makes sense, right? Those are making a comeback. Like, yeah. uh, you know, they've been That's around said for- they went away for a while. Yeah, because <laughs> when they originally came out, it's like you had to download an app yeah, and you had to right. scan it. Like nobody wanted to mess so, with that, but now it's like built, built into, into your camera, phone, right? right. And so we were in Denver uh, for a conference, uh, kind of as COVID was trailing off a little bit. 
And every restaurant we went to, the, the QR code was on the table. And some mm -hmm. of our local restaurants yeah, have done that menus. as well. Yeah. Yes. And I, there's no menus. I'm like, I kind of want this to stay. Right, like, sure. Don't hand yeah, me a absolutely. menu. Let's just scan it. Everybody's got the technology now, but that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I was always a germ freak I'm to begin way. with. Yeah, don't give me a menu. And so I'm like, oh, how many people have touched these menus? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, that, I mean, that's just one way, but like yeah. things like uh, just being able to text your main phone number. Yeah. So if I'm a business, I'm a small business, generally they go out and buy a cell phone and yep. put the cell phone in. And, just that ability to, okay, well, I'm just going to text them directly. That's yeah. a, been a big deal, yeah. especially in the last uh, nine to 10 months. That's sure. A, that's a big help. And so that's their actual business line as opposed yep. to their cell phone. You got right? it. Right. Which if you're a small business owner, you're listening to this podcast. That's huge. Like I've, I've said, I will vote for whatever president, whatever congressman, <laughs> governor, whatever it is who will lock down on uh, spam calls like mm -hmm. telemarketing. Because mm -hmm. if you're a small business owner and your cell phone number is tied to your business, yeah we're basically being held ransom. Like right. we have to answer the phone to right. numbers that we don't recognize. Right. I, you don't have a choice as a business owner. Uh, so you've got to put that out there. And so I've always said, anybody who wants to put the, the crack down on that, you've got my vote. I don't care what, <laughs> what else you, you've got, but that's really cool. That's an interesting, uh, interesting uh, technology. So we, we talked a little bit about the QR codes and how the scanning works. How has this COVID-19 affected your business and what you do for your customers? And obviously that's a, a big help for sure, but. How else does that change yeah. things? Yeah, it, it has. And, and the first thing that, that I think most businesses dealt with entering into this is how to be productive when you can't be at the office. That's right. So that was a big part of what we've done. And we see continue is enabling businesses and employees to work from wherever they might be. Yeah. And it's not only network, it's their applications, how they share information. A good thing is there's ways to do all that. Mm -hmm. and, and again, that's a big part of what we do is we really try to work hard and we partner with our customers. We understand what their business is and we want them to be successful. And a big part of it is demystifying mm -hmm. all this technology stuff. Sure. Because we're technology people, but at the heart, we're business people. Mm -hmm. Right. And we appreciate technology is really there just right. to make you be able to operate your business efficiently. And I think that's what COVID has really driven home, right? Yeah. It used to kind of be an option. You could do it or not. Right. But when you're thrust into that situation, you have to leverage technology to be able to continue operations and to serve your customers. Yeah, for sure. That's One of great. the big things we've seen is just the need for good bandwidth at mm. our customers' homes. That's right. Because the before they, uh, you know, everybody went to the office to work. Yeah. And during this, you had troubles with your internet at home and it was like, who do I call even, yeah. right? Uh, take, and during all of the service providers were just, I mean, completely backed up, right? Absolutely. So if you call, it was weeks for them to come out and help. And so we've seen a really big need for good home internet as well. Yeah, yeah, well, that's great. What's kind of on the horizon for you guys? Technology, you know, it's always changing. It's always adapting. What's kind of some of the new technology that, that gets you excited about when you work with your customers? I think one thing we see is the integration mm -hmm. of it all, right? You, ha you have all these options. And when you look at what the big companies are doing, like Microsoft and Google, they're really creating platforms for you to share mm -hmm. information, to collaborate, to work from wherever you might be. So what we really try to do is bring the knowledge and awareness to our customers on really how to maneuver and take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Most companies these days, they're, they're generally buying the right technology. Mm -hmm. They're just not versed in how to get the maximum value and benefit from it. Right. So that's what we see that's gonna be a continued change. We, we're a big user of Microsoft, familiar with Google too, but I'm amazed just weekly and monthly how much those products change. Change, yeah. And they've even been driven by COVID, right? Right. The whole uh, video conferencing, Zoom, Teams, yeah. you know, that whole thing those products have been enhanced significantly mm -hmm. and they continue to be. And that's mm -hmm. value that those things will continue to bring to the business, but it takes effort to get that value back out of them and to use them properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. You know, when y'all did your, um, I guess your ribbon cutting, y'all had so many cool little gadgets mm -hmm. around. And one of the things that I uh, thought was so interesting was that you could put on the glasses mm -hmm. and that you could actually look mm -hmm. And we could see what we're trying to do and you could see what you're trying to do and, and be able to help without coming into someone's office. And I'm sure that that's been a valuable mm -hmm. tool, especially yeah, so with COVID. More and more of that. So the remote access is kind of separate from being able to look through the glasses. The glasses kind of bring a, you've heard of virtual reality. That's, that's right. just augmented reality. Yeah. And yeah. so really that augmented reality, we see it, gonna it's going to be really big in 
uh, workforces where you have somebody out and they need access to information really quickly. They don't want to pop open their laptop, right? I just want to be able to see it in the glasses, mm -hmm. right? And you can overlay things onto what you're working on, like a schematic or uh, there's just so many different uses for that augmented reality. But remote, being able to remotely help people That's right. on both their work computer and their home computers has been a huge, a huge help for us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it was a it was a neat little thing to watch and to see how it works. So what are some other fun gadgets that y'all use all the time that people may not know about? <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of hard for me to come up with one on the spot. <laughs> we, we play with so many things. Um, I'm just amazed that you can do technology all day because if something happens to me, I get frustrated and I just want to throw it out the You're window. The I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> somebody call somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, the things that come through our office, I mean, we're constantly playing with cameras and uh, phones. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. Yeah. That, um, it'd take me a minute to come up with. Well, the chamber recently switched over uh, our phone system with IT enabled. And um, the, just the things that we've been able to do in the last two weeks have been just cool to, to learn and to figure out what we could do. And you did, you know, mm -hmm. cost uh, the cost savings for us and saved us money. And um, so, you know, if you're looking for uh, a new phone system, I definitely recommend checking out IT Enabled and, and seeing what they can do for your business because it, it has been great for us at the chamber. Yeah, uh, and it's allowed us to be able to, you know, if we were away from the, the building, we can transfer it to phones and nobody ever knows that we're not here. You know, mm -hmm. we can take care of the community's mm -hmm. needs at all times, no matter where we are and no matter what's happening, uh, which has been really nice for us. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Nice. Big yeah. So what, what type of advice would you give for small businesses in our community who are our listeners who are you know owners of small business or entrepreneurs and what kind of business advice would you give them from the technology side uh, to start off is is and this is just our core view it's technology if it's done right it should be reliable right mm -hmm. uh, we really talk about it pretty frequently it ought to be like a light switch mm -hmm. you come into the office or, or you're doing you whatever, expect you know, it to work you expect it to work right and if you're spending a considerable part of your day trying to make technology work or kind of finding technology uh, those are the customers we just love to help right. mm -hmm. because they're, it's, it's, uh, there's immediate benefit. It really gets them focused back on their primary business and their customers. Yeah. So that would be, you know, kind of our, our, our biggest opportunity. Yeah, that's and, great. Uh, it's very common out yeah. there. You know, people just get in the habit of, of dealing with some of those issues on a day to day basis. And it becomes, it feels like it's kind of part of the day, mm -hmm. but it really shouldn't be. Right. Not right. in this day and time. Yeah. That's right. It gives you back some time Absolutely. You know, in your day. What are, all of us kind of went into business to do something and we end up kind of sidetracked a lot right. of the times, right? Yeah. And so that's kind of our tagline is our mm -hmm. business is keeping you focused on your business. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's fantastic. What What are some, some common mistakes that you see? I mean, you're in and out of these businesses every day and uh, what are some things that if people are small business owners can, can take advantage of that they may be doing wrong, maybe mm -hmm. be doing incorrectly with their technology? Expecting it to work is definitely a good yeah, Like yeah. <laughs> You should expect it to work for it's sure. Good, it's a good question. Yeah. Uh, email, right? right. Uh, every every business, regardless of size, e email is still a key component of it that. Is. Uh, but a lot of times we see just the way email is set up, the way people are using it, often the way it's secured mm -hmm. creates big issues, right? Sure. If you're using it to communicate with all your customers and using it internally. Uh, unfortunately, these days, people take advantage yeah. uh, of that, right? right. Uh, all the ransomware and all the things that are out there these days. So that's a, a big thing that we really try to help customers with is understand how to properly secure their email. Uh, we're all getting used to it with our bank accounts, things mm -hmm. like that, two-factor authentication. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's little things like that, that if they're not done correctly, they can consume a lot of your time yeah. and create pretty big business impact. Sure. Yeah. Bandwidth and Wi-Fi. Yeah. So knowing how to set that up in your office and where to get bandwidth from the best provider in your area, that's mm -hmm. one of the big things that we come in and help people with right out of the gate. It's sure. making sure that you have access to plenty of bandwidth to do all the things that you're wanting to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can and explain and, and if we need to cut this out, we can. But explain kind of how the process works with with you and your customers. Is this something where they pay you monthly for a certain amount of service, where they can just pick up the phone and call you anytime they like, or can you kind of walk us through that process? Yeah. How, so, how does that work? Yeah, it starts with a retainer. Ultimately, mm -hmm. that's basically what we work off of. Sure. Um, we, we'll come in and we set up things in a standard way so mm -hmm. that any of our guys can come in and help a Great. customer with that. And then basically, you pay us monthly to maintain that sure. for you. 
Uh, and then with that, you get access to that help desk that mm -hmm. we talked about, where basically you have any problems, you give us a call, uh, we're on top of it. Our goal is that we would find and fix those problems before you even knew it was a problem, Sure, right? But mm -hmm. if you have trouble, then you call us and uh, we're at the other end of that line to help you walk through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it seems, I mean, when you go through the stages of setting up a business or working with business, you look at, you know, how, having your accounting and your insurance, and those are just the cost of doing business. It's nice to see that there's an option for people mm -hmm. to do that. Cause like, I'm not an accountant. Like I, I can't do the accounting for my business. So we pay somebody to mm -hmm. do the accounting mm -hmm. for our business. So uh, I think it's very wise for people to look at that technology wise, even us being a technology company, um, it's something for everybody to consider because it does eats up so much of your time. If you look uh, at going this, all that. if you look at the size of our customers, they range from yeah. really small companies to mm -hmm. even we are the uh, the back office for some small IT shops. Yeah. So some businesses have you know built that IT department within their organization, but they don't have the bandwidth to do all the things that they need to sure. do. So we end up being the back end for those guys where they continue uh, with the folks that they have on the ground. That's great. Yep. Well, awesome. Yeah. Well, we, we want to thank you guys so much again for, for sponsoring this podcast, for being our, our title sponsor for this year. And we're so excited to work for you, work with you. And uh, we're so excited to have you on board with the podcast. And we thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that you wanted to cover and kind of let our audience know about what you do and no, I think y'all asked some great questions. Yeah. Uh, you know, what, what we really see is uh, we, we put a lot of time and effort into training our team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's something that really makes us unique. Sure. Is our team is based on and our models based on standards. Yeah. And then people that are well trained on how those standards. So it makes us really versatile, right? Um, meaning you're not tied to a single person. That's right. And if that sure. person's not available, your business is at risk. Great. So what we do is put a lot of emphasis to make sure we eliminate all those single points of failure because that is common in most Absolutely. small and medium sized yeah. business, but it's not common in large business. Right. And so we try to take all the things that work well in a large business setting, but apply them very cost effectively into a small to medium sized mm -hmm. business. That's great. And, uh, to take full advantage of the things that just can consistently work. That's awesome. Well, where can people find you if they want to reach you about your services to talk to you about? having you manage their their IT, where, where can they, they find you at? So uh, phone number 936-225-3329, itenabled.com mm -hmm. um, is our website, mm -hmm. and you can find us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Awesome. That's right. Well, great. And they're great. They, yeah. help, they answer that help desk. We can attest, we're gonna attest to <laughs> I that. I can tell you that. I'm like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Tara is probably your number one caller. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to hear from the <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you all so thank much for your time. Much. We really appreciate you being on the podcast. and. We want to thank you so much for listening to the podcast this week. We appreciate you tuning in every week. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you'll please go and review the podcast wherever you're listening, it really helps us and it helps other people who are looking to listen to this type of podcast to find it. And if you'll go ahead and subscribe to whichever podcast you're listening to, uh, that way you can catch these episodes every single week when they come out on Mondays. And if you want to catch the video version of this podcast, it's available on the Chamber YouTube channel as well as the Chamber Facebook page. Thank you so much and we'll see you next week.